episode 74 of Folk Upon the Boat. I hope you are very well this week and this week I have a really cool tune to play for you and a couple of things to tell you so I'll, I'll tell you the things first and the first one is look out next week because there's the premiere of a cool version of If I Were a Blackbird that I'm releasing um, because of the album launch which is the second thing to tell you about but um, I just tell you a little bit about uh, Blackbird it's it's pretty cool because I've been working with an illustrator animator Nick Turner so there's um, it's a, a and it's taking the, the video making to a new level we get we actually get a Blackbird <laughs> so look out for that next Thursday and next Friday which is Friday the 23rd is the launch of Anchoress um, my new album, first solo album, and that uh, is coming with a concert. So on YouTube and also it's going to be on Facebook um, from the boat with uh, Roy Chilton on banjo and Jeff Irwin on fiddle. Uh, I'm going to be taking you through the whole of Anchoress. So this is 7 p.m. Friday 23rd, next Friday, and yeah, please come and join us and it's completely free and you can ask questions from there. Of course, you're super encouraged to buy the album, but uh, but it's completely free and you can chat during the concert and yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play everything. <laughs> so come and enjoy that. So today's tune, if I have a wife, uh, I have indeed, I have a wife of my own and this is from a 1786 collection that I showed you last week and I had a tune from last week from this 60 country dance tunes collected by Paul Hutchinson. Paul Hutchinson is a member of Belshazzar's Feast and I want to tell you uh, he wrote to me about discovering these tunes, how they came to him. So I'm just going to read that out, I hope you don't mind Paul. He says, three years ago I was given three bound manuscripts from 1786 and 1800 by a Belshazzar's Feast fan and I took these to favours who published them in one volume. So, I mean, how amazing to be given, uh, given original bound manuscripts at a gig. If anybody would like to bring me manuscripts from your attic, then that would be absolutely amazing. I don't have an attic, so I can't check. <laughs> okay, so... This, um, I Have a Wife of My Own is from the 1786 collection, the first collection, and I want to tell you a little bit about the tune, and then I want to tell you about Paul's variations on it, uh, because um, those are the ones that I'm going to play. So, we usually learn tunes in one of two ways, or sometimes both, and that is by reading them like this, or by listening to other players and taking them down orally. So this uh, is the manuscript just here for I Have a Wife of My Own, and that's it, just there in print. Something I love about this book is that you do get to see the original as well as a transcription, um, which is easy to read if you're not used to reading that kind of stuff, which I kind of am. Um, so this is in Dorian mode, and it's also in 9-8. I'm going to explain those two things, apologies if you know. Um, but they're kind of relevant to talking about the variations. So let me just play a fragment at the beginning of the tune. <laughs> you get that kind of minor feel to it. So Dorian mode is like a minor, so we've got <clears throat> usually major and minor is how melodies are usually written these days, and in the past there were more options than that, so just very slightly different notes in the scale from which you take, take the notes of the scale and make your tune in them. So Dorian mode is like a kind of minor, but it's got a sort of sweetened, sharpened seventh note in it, so it just sounds a little bit different, and that's something which, there's lots and lots of folk music in Dorian mode, it's sort of continued through in folk music in the oral tradition where it has died out more in classical and pop music. So we've got this cool kind of uh, minor sounding mode, and we've also got this 9-8, so we've got three beats in a bar, and they go ba ba ba, each one of them, so you get like that. So I wanted to give you those two bits of information about it, which are, well, make the tune really cool, but they're relevant to what Paul does next. 
So in the first variation, he keeps it in the mode, but he takes the 9-8, the ba 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 and puts it into ba 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 a more simple kind of three. So then we get something like this. See what I mean? That that kind of one, two, three, and he's he's doing a lot of other cool things with it. He's sort of making little gaps, little bits which go the rhythms going over the beats, but as a nugget of information for like how to sort of enjoy these. Then you've got that sort of one, two, three, as opposed to ba 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 ba, ba which is kind of cool. In his first variation, his second variation, we go back to the original time, but we take the mode to a more major one. It's actually called Mixolydian, which is a pretty cool word, and it's not far from a normal major scale, but it's just got a flattened seventh note instead. So that's sort of, uh, it's gonna sound like this. kind of a feel to it and that the highest note there was the one which is sort of not quite in the major da, 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 da. that's like your sort of ooh kind of cool note because of the mode it's in and I know I find it like there's all the tension of the minor before and then when you get to variation two this the set this third thing we're playing through then it feels like such this kind of happy release so I wanted to tell you a little bit about Paul's variations and now, obviously, I'm going, to, I'm going to play them, so not, normally I would write my own variations to things or improvise my own variations. It's, it's really similar to how a jazz musician would operate, but I just wanted to show you Paul's because it's kind of, it's a little bit of a masterclass in what he's done with the tune that, um, that he discovered or was, was given to him. So, please enjoy I Have a Wife of My Own. <laughs> 